This is a timeline, and I invite you to explore it. My students and I um, were talking about many subjects, and one of the things we need to experiment with is how journalists would curate a story, and that is cover it over time in ways that you couldn't do before you had electronic media and social media. And the Occupy Chicago story was sort of a perfect um, place for us to try this out. As you go through the timeline, you'll see you can navigate sort of globally. You can scroll by month. We've got clusters of stories. The colors represent different um, students who posted the stories. We've got video stories. There are some audio interviews. There's things like the Pew survey, which are um, snippets from real news. There's photos that we posted on Panoramio and um, elsewhere. We have some Twitter feeds in here. It's been an interesting um, experience, and we invite you to um, click around and see what you think. I don't think we've covered this comprehensively, but I think we've given an interesting perspective, and I think one that at least gives you a sense of sort of the momentum and the buildup of an event like this. And... Um, while I was able to maintain a lot of interest in this, uh, I think the students had a harder time. The timeline helped a little, but even so, um, it's hard for uh, for young people. I mean, they haven't been trained or um, had time to consider how stories break over years and years or over months, um, and they're just as liable as anyone else to want the immediate story. These blue represent twi tweets from um, the actual Occupy Chicago participants.